Sri Lanka's largest conglomerate, John Keel's Holdings, today bid adieu to its long-serving chairman, Susantha Ratnayaka, who had an illustrious career with the group for 39 years. Ratnayaka led a company with a workforce of over 20,300 for over a decade and chaired all subsidiary companies of the group. Current Deputy Chairman Krishan Balendra is to take the uh, chairmanship from tomorrow. Here's a tribute to a game changer in Sri Lanka's corporate world. A product of Trinity College, Susanta Ratnayaka, who entered the workforce at the tender age of 19, was with John Keel's group for 39 years and has served as one of its board members since 1992. He was a chairman of JKH since 2006. With the wealth of management experience under his belt, he went on to become chairman of several listed and unlisted companies within the John Keels Group and also headed other organizations like the Employers Federation of Ceylon, Ceylon Chamber of Commerce and Sri Lanka Tea Board. As the chairman of JKH, Ratnayaka has undertaken many ventures, most recently the launch of Cinnamon Life becoming a game changer in the real estate industry. After announcing his retirement on its 2017-2018 annual report in May, Rath Tiger's long journey with the conglomerate came to an end today. Video uploaded on the group's social media page showed a warm farewell to an individual who dedicated over 30 years of leadership to elevate the company to its current position. According to the group's succession plan, Deputy Chairman Krishan Balendra is to take over as chairman tomorrow at the beginning of 2019. Krishan is the son of the first Sri Lankan chairman of John Keel's holdings, Ken Balendra. Krishan Balendra will now take over the reins to lead Sri Lanka's largest listed conglomerate in the Colombo Stock Exchange with a 221.44 billion rupee market capitalization. He was appointed as an executive director of JKH in November 2016 and was later appointed as deputy chairman of JKH on January 1, 2018. During the tenure of Susantha Ratnayaka in the last financial year, the group posted a revenue of 121 billion rupees and was able to garner a profit of 27.63 billion rupees, witnessing a 14% growth year on year. The group, which started off as a produce and exchange broker in the 1870s, became the first Sri Lankan company to be listed overseas with a workforce of over 20,300 and today has made its presence felt in virtually every major sphere of the economy from managing hotels and resorts in Sri Lanka and the Maldives, consumer food and retails, property, transportation, financial services, IT and plantation.